Miss Judy's gonna read it for us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love story time. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Our backyard animals are ready. How about you, Miss Judy? I'm all set. Once upon a time, there were five animals who lived in Mary's backyard. They were best friends. There was Babbit Rabbit, Andrew Anteater, Rascal Raccoon, Yuppie Puppy, and Regal Eagle. These friends would frolic and roll and run and jump for hours. They would explore everything. Babbit Rabbit nibbled on clover. Andrew Anteater sniffed the dirt and smelled the tiny ants. Rascal Raccoon rolled over and over on the soft green moss that grew near a very tall tree. Yuppie Puppy was a great spy. She could hear everything that went on in the whole neighborhood. And above the tree, Regal Eagle would fly in circles watching it all. One day, Rascal Raccoon said, Let's go explore the other side of the mountain. Yuppie Puppy said, Arf! It's too far. But the others all said, Let's, Let's go! And they all went, including Yuppie Puppy. They wandered far from home. They went up the mountain and down into the valley on the other side. The sun was setting. It would soon be dark outside. Andrew Anteater said, We should go home now. Babbit Rabbit said, We're having fun. Let's play some more. And so they did. Finally, Rascal Raccoon said, I'm tired. I want to go home now. And she started to go, but Regal Eagle stopped her. Wait, Rascal. It's not that way. It's this way. Yuppie Puppy called out. No, home is this way. Then they all cried out. Oh, no! We're lost! So, Regal Eagle flew high above the others. She called down to them. I see with my keen eyes. The tall tree in Mary's backyard. It's this way. And they all followed. They came to a stream, and they didn't know which way to go. Then, Yuppie Puppy said, Listen, I can hear with my ears that Mary is calling for us. It's this way. And they followed Yuppie Puppy across the stream. On the other side, Andrew Anteater lifted his long snout and sniffed the air. He said, I'd recognize that smell anywhere. That's the meatloaf that Mary's mom is making us for dinner. And they knew they were getting closer to Mary's backyard. Babbit Rabbit stopped to rest and he nibbled on some clover. Hey guys, this clover tastes like the clover in Mary's backyard. Rascal Raccoon ran ahead of the others. She tripped over a stone and rolled over a patch of soft green moss. She touched it with her little paws. A big smile crossed her face. The others smiled too, because they were home. <laughs> Thank you, Bugsters. Thank you, Miss Judy. You're welcome. <laughs>